Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Danish authorities say a man who visited Mexico and Brazil has tested positive for the Zika virus. The mosquito-borne disease has been linked to birth defects. The World Health Organization warns the virus is likely to spread throughout the Americas. The Brazilian government is due to deploy 220,000 soldiers in an effort to raise awareness. Mexico's health ministry says the spread of the Zika virus isn't justification to ask people to delay pregnancy. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has issued alerts for visitors traveling to Cape Verde, Samoa, the Caribbean and the Americas. Federal and local authorities have killed a member of the armed militia that's been occupying a federal wildlife reserve in the U.S. state of Oregon. The exchange of gunfire took place along a highway after police made a traffic stop. They arrested eight people, including the leader of the militia, Eamon Bundy. Earlier this month, the militia took over the land in support of two ranchers who are facing extra prison time for arson. The militia wants the land to be given to local governments. Vietnam's Communist Party has re-elected Nguyen Phu Chong for a second term. The 71-year-old general secretary is viewed as a conservative leader with close ties to China. Experts say Vietnam's relations with China and the United States are likely to remain the same. Twitter's CEO has announced that a former executive from American Express is joining the company. Leslie Berland will act as Twitter's chief marketing officer. On Sunday, Jack Dorsey had announced the departure of four top executives. One of these executives, Kevin Weil, is expected to join Instagram soon. Dorsey became the CEO of Twitter late last year. Since then, the company's stock has fallen 50%. He said Twitter needs a bold rethinking. Last year, the company recorded its slowest growth in users and was overtaken by the photo sharing app Instagram. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.